I just picked this up yesterday. I purchased it at a flea market in New York City. And I have to tell you, I'm very excited to try it out. This is the One Up Arcade Pac Man and Pac Pal miniature version arcade game. It's really, really cool looking. Brings me back to the 80s. I'm really excited to try this out. It's pretty cool looking. So let me um, measure the box itself that it comes in. It's about 14 inches wide and about 21 inches in height and 8 inches thick. Let's open it up and take a look inside. I try to rush this as fast, to make this as fast as possible. The box is all beat up. That's why it was in the flea market for sale. It looks like the item's okay, but it looks like since the box is so beat up, they were unable to sell it new, so they allowed the flea market to sell it. Pretty cool. It's a flea market in Queens, New York. And you can find all these different um, finds. You never know what they have for sale. Okay. So inside is the, let me see, the first thing we see is the power adapter. And uh, the one piece power adapter, the plugs don't come undone. We do a close up of the power adapter if you ever need, if you have this device and you need this power supply, this is the specs on the power supply. I'll try to scan it and have it at the end. But just in case, you can see it, the model number. And let's see how long it is. So measuring the whole power supply itself from, end, from this end. Uh, it's about seven feet long. Yep, seven feet long, pretty cool, long enough one end of the power supply. This kind of plug. And then the actual brick itself, if you're interested, two inches, one and a quarter. Three and a half. Okay, let's take the top off. I don't know what that was. And this is the top of the actual unit itself. Uh, this should just be the thing that comes out. Oh, thing comes out. Let me just put it to the side for two seconds until I see. So it just has a plastic mold. Pull that to the side. Uh, looks like instruction manuals and information on the product. And nothing else is inside. Cushions. Make sure. Yep. That's all that's inside. Um, okay. 
That's everything inside the box itself. Now the unit, it's made of, it's hefty, made of a cardboard. Uh, I'm trying to put it on my, no, it's not gonna, oh yeah, okay. So this is, let me spin it around so you get a good look at it. Up of the back, just in case you're interested in that information. You know what? I'll do a close up, I'll bring it closer to the, cam the camera. Just take some measurements. About 11 and uh, let me see what that is and three eighths wide height at its highest point uh, it's about nine uh, 19 inches 19 inches so, from front to back, it's about 11 inches. The highest point right here is about 12 and a half inches. This is so cool. I am so happy with this thing. Uh, let me just check the screen measurements. So the screen looks like it's almost five inches wide. And uh, about six and a half in height. So let me do a close up of the whole item itself. On and off. I think there's, there's three settings, I think. It's low or off, medium, and high. I think that's off, but it might be just low, medium, and high. One player and two player. The stick. Wow, it feels really good. <laughs> We're banging the crap out of this stuff, you know. Come on, play. That was pretty cool. The speaker here looks like made out of cardboard, you know, like the old days. Some screws, the Pac Man logo, which is pretty cool, brings back a lot of memories. The one up information I'm gonna try to hold it steady so that you can read it if you want. You'll pause it now. And that way you could read it if you want. And I'm going to keep going down. And this is the plug in the back. Let me see how many inches that is. It's about, I think it's three and a quarter in length. This is so, so cool. I'm really excited in having this. It looks so authentic. A miniature version, I wonder if playing it will be will make you feel the same. So cool. 
So let me plug it in and try it out. I turned off all the lights so we can see it come on. I got the highest volume. I'll do a pack, let me do a pack power really quickly. But first, let me put my quarter up to show that I'm next. You remember that? That I remember putting up the quarters to show you next. And people who used to smoke would be smoking while they played because you could smoke anywhere back in the 80s. Uh, and um, the smoke would get in their eyes while they're playing so they would sit it down on the game and you would get all the burn marks all along the games here i don't smoke so i i can't do that and uh but the quarter i could do that's pretty cool <laughs> so i don't know if that there's only certain people that are going to know what i'm talking about okay let's uh play pack pal really quickly So it tells me to press the one player button. If I hold it, uh, hold for five seconds to return to main menu, or just press it quickly to play. I don't think I'm very good. I remember this game. I just don't think I'm very good at it. Let me do medium volume so you can see how it sounds. That was loud. Yeah, so the volume, if you set it all the way to the left, is mute. Okay? Medium. And then loud. So let's just do both of them. Off. Medium. Loud. Okay, let me play. So let me hold the first player button for five seconds so I can return to the main menu. Let me try it again. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, there we go. Let's go back up to Pac-Man. Same thing in the bottom. Okay, let's play. <coughs> wow, that's so cool. <laughs>
That is so cool. I just had a lot of fun right now. I really like this game. It is so cool. I wonder if they let you put up the highest score. The highest score is 36,130. I think that's the default because I just turned it on and it's brand new. This is so, so cool. I'm having a lot of fun. So I'm going to let the kids play, my wife play, and then I'll end the video after they all play and, and we have a good time with this. Now, um, I'm really looking forward to playing with this. Okay, so let me come back in a minute and I'll uh, let you know how everybody feels about the game. For myself, I just had a great time and I just played it for, for two or three minutes doing this video and I just had a ball. So it's gonna be a lot of fun going back to the old days and playing this game. I lost my quarter, the quarter I put here to represent, you know, to show off like the old days. I lost it inside the machine, so I have to open it up. So I figured, let me film it so you can see what's inside. And I can see what's inside before I end the video. That's the screws that go inside. Uh, six, it looks like. Six screws total. And it's not coming out on the side. All right, let me try opening the back. Let me see if the back opens. The back has small screws. Back comes out a lot easier than the side. Okay. Oh, because it's screwed, as you can see, right here. At the end here, screwed, so you can't take that out. Uh, the wire is just tied. As you can see, it's tied on. And let me find my quarter. I can't see the, uh, yep, there's my quarter. Found my quarter, fell inside. Um, I guess this is a look at the back. And uh, let me turn it sideways, get a better view. Be careful with this. Um, I don't want to get open it up too much, but ribbon, like in the old days, the IDE ribbon. Green, I guess I don't want to open it up too much so this is a view from the back there's the speaker ribbon and the plug oh it unplugs look at that comes right off pretty cool right. me put that back on right. let me put it back together so this is a look at the inside I was going to finish off the video at a party I was having and I was going to have these laid out. It was going to be a 80s theme party. So the party got canceled um, beyond my control. Things happened. So. I'm ending the video. I'm just going to show you how it looks. I ended up buying an extra two. I just love the look. I love the play. It's a lot of fun. So I'm just starting up all of them. So I should hear it. Let me choose Pac-Man. So these are so these are the three right here. 
just turned off the light. Brings back a lot of memories. I was gonna do a 80s theme party. That's what it was, a get together and a meet up. And this is one of the backgrounds that just wanted to share it with you. So I was gonna have these Pac-Man set up so everybody can get a kick out of uh, the Pac-Man games. And then I was gonna have these backgrounds. So this is one. This is my second background I was gonna use. Third background. My fourth background. My fifth. My and my sixth background, my last one. So I was gonna pin these up on the wall, have them as a background when you take pictures, but again, the party was canceled. And 80s people are gonna get a kick out of this. I was just asking someone when I was wearing the uh, props, if I reminded them of Mr. T, of course, the person being 25 years of age had no idea who I was talking about. So I told them to look it up and then they saw Mr. T with all the chains. And if you don't know who Mr. T is, everybody should know who Mr. T is so that you could understand what I'm gonna show. He's an 80s guy, he definitely represents the these props or you know kids of back then everybody's gonna remember this run dmc and all of them and these are, were gonna be my props but the party was canceled so I'm not having it and I'm just gonna end the video we've been playing with this for over a month now at the end at, at my house at my home I'm removing two of them I'm only keeping one here I don't know what I'm gonna do with the other two and uh, I was gonna use them for the party but like I said since it's canceled I'm going to end up uh, I, I don't know what I'm gonna do with them I'm gonna keep one definitely it brings back a lot of memories this is so so cool so I'm gonna definitely have one and uh it would have been great at the party so i i don't know if i'm gonna keep them but definitely keeping one it's a lot of fun to play these they bring back a lot of memories it's a miniature version of the games back then the quarter paid games back then uh it just really brings me back and it's these things are nostalgic awesome to play i've been having so much fun even my kids have been playing with them and they love the noise, you know. Uh -huh. So that was gonna be a lot of fun to have, but um, next time. But I, my final reviews on these, I liked them so much, I went back and bought two more. I really, really enjoy playing these. I love playing Pac-Man. It just brings back so much fun. I love the noise. Uh, it's awesome, it's awesome. I really like it. I'm looking forward to one day purchasing a full, a full size one. That's gonna be awesome to have. And I wanna set these up just like people remember the game rooms in the 80s with all these all over the place. I'm not gonna have that, but you know, my favorites, maybe a large one with an all-in-one, and this is the company making them. Uh -oh. Arcade One Up is the company making this possible. So I'm really glad that they're making it possible. It's really nice. And this miniature version is very, very cool. I, I really, really like them. All right, so I hope you, li you liked the video. I hope it was informative. Thank you. Bye.